sweet. Well, we're still wiring away. I did put that uh, that cool switch I found in position. See, I like it. I uh, get it all soldered, connections and everything taped up, and I got two wires running over here. I ran out. I bought this. This is a hundred amp resettable breaker. It actually makes a nice kill switch. Watch that little thing pop out. I reset it by pushing this in. That's going to go in line with my power lead that comes up to the ignition switch. So when you kill that. You kill everything, and if there's any kind of heavy load, it's going to go pop. Um, I talked to the guy, he said you can put it near the battery, I can put it near the ignition switch, as long as it's the one lead that comes in and covers all the bases. You kill this, everything's dead. Um, the horn button, I've been putting leads on things, twisting them together. A little trick I like to do. Horn button's got wires, the little switch has got wires. Um, I mounted the fuse panel, it's actually pointed straight down now. I had to go get some bolts. I'm using these rubber insulated quarter inch clips. I did put in those cool little blue lights that I've had the better part of 25 years. Uh, I used a wire tie to hold it down at the connection so there's no strain on it. I gotta put the other one in just because I can. But uh, I'm gonna have to make a plate to hold these off. I can only find them in fours and I don't mind. I'm gonna have two rows of four and then I'm gonna have the main breaker up here so you can reach up. It'll be hanging upside down. You can reach up and uh, hit the button and the whole car has got no power. It was a pretty cool thing. Um, I wanted to give kudos to um, AutoZone too, because I go to AutoZone and they have everything you need. They don't just go, oh, we'll sell you this pretty little hood scoop, you know, for 50 bucks. They have connectors and screws and breakers and things like that. Um, I go to other stores like Pep Boys and it's, they're trying to sell you all these stupid add-on things like, uh, like I said, hood scoops and crap. But I'm going to have to make a bracket for that. Um, the junction block, I get a general idea where it's got to go. It's got to go in line with one of these. But I was hoping Dad would come up. Called the house, he's not home. Here's my other one. I like those. This is my moon speedometer. I want it for 20 bucks. I dropped it a week later. Ouch. Now this full set of these gauges is almost $500. And I will have them. Just not right now. These are cheapy, uh... I think these things were like 15 bucks for a full set. But they are mechanical, they're not electronic. I want electronic ones. I still got my headlight switch to wire. I gotta put some leads on the other switch over here. Um, I'm gonna incorporate, like I said, there's gonna be a newer stereo hidden under the dash. Because uh, I don't mind hearing the engine and stuff, but uh, I want tunes. So I'm gonna make something that incorporates a radio bracket. Something to hold the breaker and something to hold these three, uh, two junction blocks, barrier blocks. But I'll do a little bit more. It's still early and it's not bad out. We still got a couple snow banks that need to go. Here's my gloves from welding and grinding. Yeah, junkers, they're like 10 bucks. Okay, let's do some more. Huh. Directionals, flasher for both of them, ground for the uh, power for the light, and it goes to a fuse switch, uh, yeah, fuse connection on the junction bar. Into the doors.
Yeah, it's hard to hold an iPod. All right, I don't want to give you a hundred videos on wiring, so. Everything's in a harness. Just the one from the column. Two directionals. And a light bulb for it right here. My diode will go, my two diodes will go right there between those two. Um, that's your headlight switch. This would be uh, parking lights. That would be the headlights. Everything that's going to be on the, the firewall section would come in from the top. Anything going out will go off the bottom. Um, this is a 100 amp breaker I bought at AutoZone. It's like 30 bucks. It goes in line with the battery. And I've got this really heavy cable that uh, an electrician gave me. He says there's nothing like this stuff. That's just to go to the ignition switch. I just got it touching the frame for now. But uh, I've been messing with things. I put that old switch in here. And of those two lights I had, only one worked. I did have this little Honda, like, uh, what would you call it? Uh, floodlight thing. Um, what do they call those things? Fog lights. Just a little one. I knew the other one went. It didn't work. So I had one that worked with the blue and one that worked with the fog light, so I used one on each side. Um, and this is what I got. Put the key on. Not all the way. This would start it. The starter was connected, but it ain't. And pull the switch. There's your blue light. And there's your dash light underneath. Just the dash light switch. But, um, you know, you think all day, uh, why... Why just wire these two little light bulbs? Well, it's actually running a wire off one side and using it as a test light, so who needs a meter? But um, I got quite a bit done. That switch, the ignition switch is done from yesterday. The horn switch is wired. All the junction blocks I picked up, these are just hanging here because i got to make a block for them. I need a block for the breaker too. But um, I think I've got like one, two... Oh, that old switch on the bottom. This one. After testing it with a meter, it's junk. I gotta get another one. I gotta wire gauges. Um, there's still a whole bunch of things. My flasher hangs down behind the dash. So if it's ever a problem, you just unplug it, put a new one in. And it's all wired. If I could put power to the uh, headlights, which I can't because that's still down there, I can make the directionals work. Directional switch is about 90% wired. I just gotta connect it. This is my high beam, low beam. I also need that switch. Where did I do with it? Here's the original. 1931 switch. Broken. Those were the uh, kick panels where your feet would go. I have another one. I just had it. But uh, you need a high beam, low beam switch. Here it is. So power in. One of them's high beam and one of them's low beam. Not hard to do. Just gotta find a place to mount it. I don't know yet. But here's the mess. Here's the mess. I'm gonna clean it up, maybe. Maybe not. It's my mess. Um, I got all day today and I got all day tomorrow. But I use those quarter inch rubber clips to hold the wires. I wish I had the blocks of these. I'm going to have to draw something up maybe and have it made. But uh, this power, this car's never had power. My bright, <laughs> this one's wicked dim. <laughs> but it works. My in dash test light. That's basically what it was. Um, the interior light and the horn are on the same fuse. The headlights are on one fuse. Um, the, this is the main lead that goes over to the ignition switch. See it roots around. goes to the ignition switch. This is this will go to the starter of course. Not connected yet. And uh, I like this wire. Heavy, heavy stuff. And I mean, this just goes to the um, ignition switch. That ain't even the battery lead that goes up to the starter, which is laying right there. I could turn it over, but it's not. Not yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a bunch of pictures as usual and go in. I really don't want to do too many on the electrical, but I'll show you the plates I make for this and the breaker. The breaker's pretty cool. There's a reset button on the top. Well, it's actually it'll, it's a kill. And this little door pops out. Now, right now, there's no power to anything in the car until you push that back in. So it's like a battery kill. I think it disconnects everything in one push. But 100 amp. Whew. Drilling holes, heating things up. Um, every connection has been crimped, soldered, and taped. And I mean every connection. 
I didn't just go, well not those. Every connection that was heavy, like a battery lead. Looks good. The, da the fuse block is in, it's pointing down. If I can show you, I will. It's hanging down up there. Can you see it? I don't know, let's try this side. It's hanging up right there. Um, as a test, unintentionally, I already blew a fuse because this one was bad. This one was good, the one on the other side was bad, and when I pulled it in, I heard the fuse go pop. So that's our first test of a fuse. Did I drop it? Yep, there it is. I blew it. <sighs> uh, a little bit more. I gotta do some drawings and uh, a little schematic. Put an insulator between these two because I don't like how the switch is reliable, uh, relying on just one little nut. I didn't want it to kick over and hit the switch. So that's actually a glass insulator. The button's nice. Looking good though. We got gauges to hook up to the same switch, probably. Um, that's it, man. Uh, what do I got? I got one heavy wire to go to the starter. The starter lead right there. Which has to connect to this. So I gotta find a way to connect all this stuff to up here. And I wanna do it over there. This is that heavy cable. And I ran it through that uh, cloth I have, that uh, rubber seal. What the hell is it called? Like a rubber tubing. Just where it meets the corner. So anyway, there's a sharp edge. It's not going to chafe into it. My ground is right there. Isn't that a great ground? Laugh, it works. But I'm going to take the battery lead off. Screw around with a few more things. Take a bunch of pictures. And I'm going in, guys. Okay? You have a good night.